What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be lifting the back part of this truck. So we're going to be changing all of the rear suspension here. The main reason why we're changing the rear suspension instead of just flipping it back over is because I think our bushings are bad. You can hear whenever I push down, squeaks a lot. I tried lubricating, I tried everything. So I just went ahead and ordered some new uh, OEM leaf springs from the dealer. So we're just going to put those back on, replace these. But the only problem with doing this side is you do have to drop the tank, which is going to be a hassle in itself to get to this bolt here. To get to the other side of that, right there. So, that's going to be, that's going to be a mission. I'm probably gonna just take off the bed. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take off the bed off to make it easier to just drop the tank. Take that bolt off, put the new leaf spring on, flip it over, and lift the back back to stock height. So let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the bed is completely off now. All it was was one, two, three, four bolts holding it down. And then you guys have to remove your tail lights. The plug that goes here and here, these two, remove those for the tail light wiring. And that's pretty much it. So all this is taken out. Next thing I have to do, like I said, I have to drop the tank down to get to this bolt here on the other side. It's blocked off here. There's no way to remove it. Unfortunately, my gas tank is full. So I'm siphoning all my gas out into these five gallon uh, gas cans. That way we can go ahead and easily bring this down here. We ended up lowering the gas tank. We removed the two straps. There's one here and one here. And there was just two bolts holding it in. One here and one on this side here. <clears throat> I'm using a jack with a 2x4 to slowly let it down. I siphoned all the gas out so it's pretty, um, it's pretty light here. And we ended up removing the bolt. We have just enough room to clear it. We can still move the gas tank a little bit more if we need more room here. So I removed the bolt here and also the bolt back, back here. Remove this bolt too. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove our U bolts, take the whole leaf spring out, and put the new one on top. And then we're gonna change our shocks. Looks like this had a, uh, what is this? Looks like it had a shock extender here. So we'll be removing that, getting rid of that completely. Just going back to stock.
All right, guys, remove the U-bolts. Time to take our old leaf spring out. Oh, this thing's gonna be real stuck in here. I'm gonna go ahead and lift our rear end from this side. Our leaf spring is completely out now. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these areas up here with some degreaser and wash it down because it's pretty nasty here. I think these were the bushings that were making a lot of noise, man. They are nasty. All right, after some cleaning, this is how far I got. I'm gonna give it one more pass to get rid of all the extra dirt in between there. Give it a quick spray paint. Make sure it doesn't rust. And same thing with the first one. I still gotta clean that one. Once I finish that, I can go ahead and put our leaf spring in and start reassembling everything here. All right, went ahead and painted this. Looks brand new. And we went ahead and did that one too. Now we're gonna go ahead and, actually before we bolt on our leaf spring, just here, I'm gonna go ahead and put our shackles on, on this side. All right, we went ahead and put our bolt in through here for our leaf spring, put our shackle on, put our other bolt for our leaf spring, and then tightened, well just hand tightened uh, these U-bolts. I still need to torque them down, but I'm not gonna do that until I put some weight on the truck. But this is how you put brand new leaf springs on your vehicle so if you remember for a drop kit you put this on the bottom and I'm putting this back to stock so I'm putting it back up I'm not sure if the stock one has a block here or not but I want it a little bit lower in the back than the front so we'll see how it looks if it looks too weird I'm just gonna hold, go ahead and uh, loosen these up and put a, a block under here uh, we went ahead and put our stock shock back on this is from the blue truck. It only has like 30,000 miles, so they just need to be cleaned up a little bit. But they're still good. So everything on this side is pretty much finished here. I went ahead and put our straps back on for the gas tank. So again, those of you wondering, it's literally two straps. It's just this bolt here that you have to take out from the bottom. It's one strap that goes this way. And I don't know if you guys can see it. But I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's another bolt. can't really see it but there's it this is how the straps look and this is the other second bolt right here so just take this out and this strap comes out the front strap comes out and the whole thing goes down I didn't have to disconnect anything here I thought I was so I did buy a little tool kit to disconnect my gas lines and stuff but luckily I just lowered it just enough to where this bolt here came straight out so everything worked out good Obviously to take off your bed, you need to take this part off here. And then again, the screws are along the frame here. And the two plugs that I told you guys about here. There we have it. This side's pretty much done. 
I'm gonna have to end the video here because we don't have the other leaf spring yet. We're supposed to get that shipped out and that way we can go ahead and install it on this side. I went ahead already and cleaned this and painted this. I reinstalled our stock shock here. So as soon as the leaf spring comes in, this side's a lot easier because you don't have anything on this side. So leaf spring, insulation, and everything should be about 5-10 minutes as soon as we get it. Put our U-bolts back on and we're all set. We could put the bed back on, line everything and, and get our new wheels and tires. I'm going to be changing this exhaust too. So stay tuned for that future video. Probably head out to Topete Mufflers or see what other muffler shop there is around my house that offers good prices. Cause um, I, I don't know if it's because, I don't know what kind of muffler this is, but there's a lot of drone. There's a lot of drone inside of the cab, which I hate, man. It probably doesn't help that the tips are just right here. So you can hear everything inside. So when you're driving, you can't hear anything. And it's not even that loud from the outside, so I'm gonna eliminate this. Probably go with a carbon exhaust and have it coming out through the back. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys check out the website so you guys could copy your merch. I also have a lot of decals for sale. Here they are, they're only five bucks. And again, if you guys copy your decals, I am gonna be posting a, a picture of you with your truck or you with your decal at the end of my video. So make sure you guys are sending me those pictures so I can put it. Make sure you guys check out the Instagram. That way you guys can get daily updates of what I'm doing. Um, but other than that, stay tuned till next time. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my